Hey everyone, my name is Fernando and I am the owner and insurer at Cajun Denture Clinic. And today I'll be unboxing another great intraoral scanner, this time from 3Shape. So I'll be unboxing three shapes, three of four, with the wireless and the corded pods. Let's have a look at the contents. So I received two boxes, one with the main scanner and all the accessories, and the other one with the corded uh, pod and wires. So let's open this one up. So here are the contents, it's upside down. Go right here. So we have the Trios 4. It does come with a protective tip. So this pretty much, uh, we just click it and there it is. It comes with one, two, three, four, five intraoral tips. Now these tips here, they do have um, <clears throat> electrical mechanism inside, which will count how many times you have sterilized them. Now uh, the tips here, they do have to be calibrated every seven days, okay? So every time you do calibrate a tip with the trios, well, it memorizes that you have done this tip, but then you would have to do it for tip number two, tip number three, tip number four, and tip number five, or any other tips that you do have uh, that are brand new. It does come with a three shape USB stick. And of course it comes with the three shapes dongle here we have an adapter to go ahead and calibrate the trios for and it comes with two of them here's the three shapes calibration tool or collar calibration target as they call it you open it and here it is so this has an A side or a color calibration um, area and a B side in a gray color calibration area you always want to make sure that this is inside the little container of the plastic container as you can see this slides out and you always want to make sure that you leave it inside its little box nice and tight get rid of that <clears throat> here is a first battery so if you grab the trios 4 you can see the connections are on the side and that's how you're going to insert the battery into the trios 4 and it just snaps into place when uh, battery is dead pretty much take it off and later on I'll show you the uh, charging uh, pod or the charging uh, accessory for the battery Let's put that there <coughs> Here you have The USB Wireless connector. Okay, this will attach to uh, To your computer or it will attach to a to, to the pod. There's a pod inside here. So let's remove this 
I really like this how it's uh, it's got a nice foam with all the attachments uh, pretty much did on to it. Let's put that on the side here. So of course here you have uh, pretty much instructions on how to set up uh, trios. Here it shows you how to, how to do the trios wireless. Okay, it also shows you some scanning workflows. Okay, how to set up the software, the trios in the software. Here you have the trios move. How to connect the trios to the computer. Of course you have a manual, fairly thick manual that you would have to read, make sure you understand how the Trios 4 works. And then we have two extra batteries. Here is a battery charger. It does have an AC outlet connector right here. Don't wanna break those. And the battery here, once again, same way it goes into the trios, it's gonna go into the battery charger sideways. And they just snap into place. Here is the pod. This is the holder for the trios. Let me get the trios. And that pretty much sits like that. So this is the wireless connector. There's a plastic here. So then I've seen it used two ways. You either grab your wireless antenna, and I've seen some people put this into uh, the computer, or I've seen them that's right here, or I see them connect them uh, through that. Which one is the best way? I don't know. We'll have to find out. And then we do have a bracket here, and I'm not sure quite yet what this bracket is for, but if you guys are watching this and you know what this bracket is for, don't forget to comment, let me know. Um, so I'm interested to know how this, what this connects to. Put that there. So what I like is that everything has its own uh, space and its own place within the box and within the, the uh, foam pack right here. I'm gonna leave that there. Let's change boxes. And this box is here, they're pretty much uh, connected with some sort of magnet, which is kind of cool. So of course this one is empty because I didn't get two, I just only got one trios. So let's get this foam out of the way. And it's pretty much the same cutouts as where the other, or where the trios came in. Put it there on the side. <coughs> Here we have the connect or the, the, the wire connector for the charger, battery chargers. Here we have the wired pod. So you can see these are pretty much the same. The only difference is with the wireless, it's a lot thinner, a lot smaller. With the wired, of course, because there's um, electronics in here, it is uh, quite a bit thicker, but fits in both. So let's get rid of the wireless pod. And let's talk about the wired. So right here you have a connector. Okay, and this is where the battery will connect 
the, or the trios will connect to the pod. And then you have this area here and then you have a, a connector here and this will connect to the computer. And then of course you have a, kind of like an ethernet port and that will also connect uh, to the computer. Sorry, uh, sorry, this will connect to the computer. This connects to the power outlet. <coughs> so as you can see, it, 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 it resembles pretty much what the battery looks like. So if I was to grab the battery, okay, so it has to pretty much have the same shape as the battery itself. The only difference, of course, is that this, you're, once again, you gotta make sure the connector is on the side and you just snap it into place. In order to take it out, you don't pull it, there is a button right here, see, eject button. Press that, and then you take this out. So now the connector here, there's only one way this will go on. Let me just take this off here. And pretty much have to line up the red dot. And there's a little groove right here and then of course when you want to take it out there's a sleeve here and then this kind of comes off okay so the sleeve pulls back a little bit i don't know if you can see that and you can see the little knobs here they go inside and that's what holds it in place and that's what releases it so the red button with the little groove up top here. And then you just snap them into place. So that's that. Then here we have the battery adapter, or actually the AC adapter. Okay, and then here we have a fairly, fairly big cable. Of course, you can see it is grounded uh, 110. Of course, you're going to connect this in. And then this is pretty much the same scenario. It does have the red dot. And you just line it to the red dot right there. And it snaps into place. And then the last piece of the puzzle, you have what looks like an ethernet cable, okay, fairly thick connector. <coughs> I'm gonna connect this in there. And then we have a J5 Create a USB 3.0 gigabit connector to a USB port. So then we would connect this end here. And then of course this USB would go into your computer. And now all of a sudden you have a Trios, Three Shapes Trios 4, which is now ported. And uh, that looks to be about four or five, six feet of cord. So, and then of course you have your on off button right here for the scanner. Let's have a look at the tips. With the tips, of course, you always gotta make sure you uh, take care of the mirror. You don't wanna scratch it. Uh, if it does get fogged up, then you do wanna replace it. Uh, from what I understand, um, I believe that the tips will last about, about 140, 160 um, cycles in the sterilizer. Uh, but of course, if you're going to do that, make sure that you put it in the rubber uh, section or the rubber um, the rubber uh, sterilizing. Um, oh, forgot my words there. The, 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 ru the rubber settings for your sterilizer because you don't want to melt these guys down. Uh, about three of them, they cost about 750 Canadian dollars. 
I would probably be about 400 US maybe. Um, but yeah, you want to be extremely careful. Of course, you can cold sterilize them, uh, but with uh, how things are going right now with COVID, I'd rather, I'd rather heat sterilize them and make sure I have peace of mind and I can provide peace of mind for my patients. So, you wanna, here it tells you how to unlock it. So you're gonna twist it, take it out, and then you twist it. Now, of course, if you're doing uh, the upper, you can go ahead and place it this way. If you're gonna go ahead and do the lower, you can turn it around. That way you don't have to be pretty much moving your wrist in funny areas, funny angles. You can pretty much just move the tip and you go scanning whichever arch it is that you're gonna scan. So very, very well thought after, uh, uh, you know, very, very well thought off uh, tip design. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty much all the contents for the uh, Trios 4. Now I can't wait to go ahead and start using it and see how accurate, accurate it is uh, to scan and how it's going to make my life easier at the clinic. One thing that I will do is I will show you how I sterilize the tips. Uh, I did find a, a good tip online and I will uh, do a separate video on uh, how to go about doing that. And that's it. I can't wait to start using my Trios 4 and see how its accuracy is going to improve me treating my patients here at the clinic. If you do use a Trios 4 or any other intraoral scanner, please comment down below and let me know how you go about using yours. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more educational videos.